Just gaze your eyes upon this mighty panel, ladies and gentlemen. Our boy, Shoyo Hinata, is a Zoro stan. So, the chapter picks up from the challenge of Gabriel and Gina last chapter to Oikawa and Hinata. And right away we see Oikawa having some difficulty adjusting to the open atmosphere and the sand. They play on for a bit but ultimately lose the first game and have to buy Gabriel and Gina some drink. This chapter also features some of the Hinata's fanboy moments over Oikawa like here when he's all starstruck and wants to hit some of his tosses. Oikawa's reaction was kinda adorable here. After that, it was also revealed that Hinata's been practicing indoor volleyball as to maintain his habits with the hard floor. I also liked how Oikawa and Hinata talked about leveling up and I definitely feel like whenever Hinata goes indoors, he would have leveled up a huge amount. And then the next couple of panels are pure ecstasy. Hinata finds out that Pedro is reading One Piece and he immediately runs to his room, shows his own copy of the first volume of One Piece, The Romance Dawn and declares Zoro as his favorite character. When Hinata asked who Pedro liked, Pedro had a similar reaction to what I feel many of us would have when asked a similar question like, how can you not choose Luffy? Apparently seeing Pedro's reaction made Hinata feel like he was like Kenma. And not gonna lie, seeing Kenma again even in a flashback made me happy. Anyway, then Pedro throws us for a loop by saying that he got Naruto and My Hero Academia as well and asked Hinata if he wanted to watch them. I feel like this was the moment when Hinata finally started to make a connection with Pedro. For those who are curious about which volume was Pedro reading, it was volume 72 during the Dress Rosa arc. The next day Gabriel and Gina vs Oikawa and Hinata and this time Hinata wagers some protein. Hinata observes the serve and passes with a neat receive. Oikawa then gathers all the data point and sets a fantastic toss for Hinata and he scores with a nice spike. And then we see another fanboy moment of Shoyo. That was definitely warranted because Oikawa took in all the information and set a great toss even though he's not familiar with the beach volleyball. Oikawa then does a jump floater. Yeah. Then we see the inner monologue by Oikawa stating that there will be more tough times than successful moments if the goal is high and how the fun part is really trying hard and to get results and this is what draws him into the game. Back to the present moment, he realizes that he forgot how much he considered volleyball to be a fun game. Then towards the end was what I feel like the theme of this entire chapter, connect. The connection of Pedro and Shoyo over anime and the formation of the connection between Oikawa and Hinata. Seeing as there is only one teammate with Oikawa, he will have to connect with Hinata in order to win the game. I definitely feel like Oikawa will identify with Hinata in a whole new manner after this game is done. It makes me so happy that Hinata and Oikawa have potentially become very good friends. But that's for us to find out in the next chapter. What did you guys think about this chapter? Like, comment and subscribe. And by the way, let's hit that 100 subscriber mark before the release of the next chapter. And I will see you all later. You guys take care.